Math 9, here is a very short video for you. I'm going to explain assignment number 10 to you. And assignment number 10 is a quiz. It's the second quiz. You can hardly read that now. It's the second quiz um, that you will have written since this online learning started. So this will be due, this quiz will be due next Monday. May 18 at 3 p.m. as always. Um, okay, well that's a terrible at sign. So I'm going to show you the quiz in a second. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else to say. So you have the review that is due this Friday, which I've already signed. That's assignment number nine. And then assignment 10 is this. It's the quiz. And then assignment 11 is going to be a freebie, an easy one. So uh, I'll tell you right now, if you need to take a little extra time, uh, assignment number 11 is partly just catching up on old work. So I guess you could kind of think of the due date of this of being next Friday, the 22nd. If you can get it into me by then, I would still consider it on time, I suppose. All right, so that's a little sneak peek of uh, assignment 11. You're going to like that one. So here's the quiz. I mean, I'm going to I'm going to post it uh on Teams and you can download it and everything, but just so you can see what it is. Uh you already did one quiz on similar and congruent uh, triangles and similar polygons. So we're going to focus on the other part of this chapter. You've got scale factor, you've got some conversion, converting units from meters to millimeters, centimeters to meters, etc. Feel free to look at the your notes you know, the notes that told you how many millimeters are in a centimeter and how many millimeters in a meter and centimeters in a meter and all that kind of stuff. Feel free to look at that. Uh, e talks about hectometers. I don't think we've done that question with hectometers yet, but I give you a hint. So there's everything you need to know right there. One hectometer is uh, 100 meters. Uh, that's true. I didn't just make that up. That's true. Uh, three I'll come back to. Number four, you've got to find the scale factor if I give you... Uh, the actual distance and the drawing distance. And then in number five, you have to find how far apart two cities are if I give you the scale factor and how far apart they are to map. All right, back to number three. I just want to read this one over. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a picture of something around your house. It can be anything. It could be your cat, your bike, your sister, your microwave, your uh, television, you, whatever. And then you're going to look at the image on your phone or your camera. Your task is to figure out what the scale factor is of the image on your phone. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to have to measure the actual object. So let's say, for example, you took a picture of your cat. You're going to have to go and get a ruler or tape measure uh, and measure your cat. And then you're going to need to measure the image on your phone. I would definitely measure them both in the same units, probably centimeters. Whoops, I missed a closed bracket sign there. Um, and then please show all your work. Be very clear. Otherwise, you're not going to get all the marks. And you're going to explain to me how you figure out the scale factor. Okay. Uh, if you don't have a, a ruler or a tape measure, you can use anything to measure it, right? You could measure, I don't know, maybe you have, uh, take a pen. And you measure your, how many pen lengths is your cat? Oh, my cat is six pen, pen lengths. How many pen lengths is the image on the, on the phone? Oh, the image on the phone is half a pen length. With that information, you could actually figure out the scale factor. Okay? Anyway, uh, be clear about it and uh, show all your work, and you can get three marks for doing that. All right, so if you have questions with any of this, um, you know, I'm not going to go through every question with you uh, on the quiz, but, you know, if you get stuck, just let me know, and I can definitely give you some hints and get you back on track so that you're successful with the quiz. Okay, everyone, that's it for assignment number 10. You're going to like assignment 11, so hopefully you find the next uh, 10 days aren't too, too bad. Uh, oh, last thing, with this quiz, quiz number two, once again, you're more than welcome to do corrections if you happen to get any wrong. Okay, hope you're all staying well. Um, this just keeps going on and on, doesn't it? It's crazy. All right, take care, everyone. Stay healthy. Bye.